The annuity business is changing. I'm joined by Rich Romano, CEO of FitX to learn more. Rich, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So a topic I am admittedly not as well versed in, so really excited to be speaking with you. Um, how does the insurance exchange by FedEx simplify every step of recommending and writing annuities? As I mentioned, the industry is changing, so tell me about right. it. Well, the good news is you're not alone. <laughs> a lot of people don't know a lot of stuff about annuities, right? And, uh, and I think that's one of the primary challenges, right? Um, advisors who work with clients, they want certainty, right? They want to have the ability to be able to tell a client, look them in the eyes and say, this is what you're going to get and this is how we're going to secure your retirement. So we were born out of the idea of creating a stronger industry by bringing a single point of contact for all the carriers to now send their product out. So it simplifies it, it streamlines it, and it makes it simplistically elegant and fashion where we're allowing advisors to follow the journey they follow, where now an annuity is an asset class in their portfolio. So it looks, smells, and feels just like managed accounts that they're doing today. So we like to say, don't think about the annuity, think about the protection, think about the opportunity for income or or growth in your portfolio. And speaking of income protection um, and, and generation and solutions around that, you know, what are some challenges that advisors face when being able to offer that guaranteed income? Yeah, so in today's world, it's uh, if you don't if they don't live on a swivel chair, they're gonna have a really bad back because they have to go over here and do something the way one carrier wants, and then to another carrier, and then shuffle papers together, and then start back from zero and enter data and then they might have issues and then the client has to resign things. So it's very siloed. It's mm -hmm. not a holistic life cycle that you say, I start and I finish and I continue to build on that. So, you know, the challenge is really no one's ever come to the table and said, let's make this part of an ecosystem. I always joke that advisors have the sores necks in, in the industry because they are always swiveling between those disparate systems. Right. So it's encouraging to see that you're really just streamlining right. and putting and all together. And eventually they walk away, right? It, right. So you know, we have this concept in the industry called NIGO, it's not in good order, which a majority of those turn into no-goes, which is I don't want to do it again because it's too, too much pain and suffering. Yeah, absolutely. So final question, you know, what is the outsource insurance desk and how is it benefiting RIAs? So uh, RIAs, right, uh, they know about annuities, but they hear all of this stuff complex, very difficult. You don't know what you're buying, all the paperwork. So what we do is we say, we're going to educate you. So an outsourced insurance desk basically is a broker dealer and a bunch of agents of record who become trusted partners of the RIA, that that RIA feels confident that when they work with their client, they're able to produce strong recommendations that fit into how the advisor works with their clients. So they become the annuity expert, just like the advisor has a tax account and a lawyer and a trust attorney. Now they have an insurance expert at their side to help service their client holistically. I, so I lied and I know I said it, I, that was the last question, but I do have one more, just a quick follow-up. But just curious, what has the reception been from advisors? Because this is a bit of a complex space, but having access to technology like this, what has their reception been? Uh, you know, so uh, everyone will always say it's been wildly successful, right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're building software and we're changing the industry, right? So there's some bleeding edge to the knife there, right? But once people realize that it does work the way they are, you know, we have advisors, we look at the world in terms of repeat usage, right? If you, it's not about buying one pizza, you wanna keep buying every week, right? We're getting significant numbers of advisors that are coming back and doing it more. So it's about changing their behavior. And once again, changing behavior in a platform that they already use, like InvestNet, makes it a little bit easier because it's the way they run their business. So. Um, far more better than, you know, bad news. And sometimes it's just tough, right, to get people to do things. But we, we've been really successful. You know, we're up 500% year over year, and we continue wow. to see exponential growth in the business. Well, that is fantastic news. And Rich, thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. For WealthManagement.com, I'm Shannon Rossick.